Ben and Sydney. How are you? We're doing good. Good, good, good. Congratulations on American Born Chinese. I love this show. Ben, even though your co-star Jimmy Liu did most of the fight scenes, what was it like being in the middle of all that wire foo action? And do you hope that you get to do some of that action as well in season two? Yeah, it was great. It was great just being on the ground and watching them because Jimmy would do would do the take and then they all cut and he'd walk back and you just have this you're like hurts. <laughs> like, wow, that that sucks, man. You looked cool, though. Um, uh, what I want to do, I did. I did. I don't want to spoil too much, but there is one stunt in the show I get to do where I was on wires and it was as terrible as I thought it would be. It hurt in all the places you don't want it to hurt. Um, and the harness they got for me, they put it on me and it was like way too big. Um, <laughs> and so they got me like someone yelled something and they got me another one and they put it on and the Pung, the action coordinator was like, how's that one? I was like, oh, this one fits like super well. That, that's <laughs> oh, cool. Where'd you find it? Yeah. And he goes, great. It's a woman's size. <laughs> yeah. That's a woman's small. It's for little girls. Perfect. Um, and I was like, great, great Pung. Um, anything I should like is how is what is a woman's size different from a men's size? And then I think one of the one of the stuntmen was like, uh, there's less room. I was like, what? <laughs> he goes, just watch out. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then they cinched it shut. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> so uh yeah, that was so well, yeah. I, I so I hope there isn't more of that. I for hope me you have more stunt two. teams. Um, because it hurts. And you, and you live to tell the story. That's what's awesome about it. I did, yeah. <laughs> and, and Sydney, I love episode five. Your character, Amelia, is so adorable. Uh, as somebody from the outside uh, coming into the, this Asian-American-centric project, what was that experience like for you? And uh, what, is, what is the significance of you being a, a, in a project like this? Sure. For me, coming into this project, it was very eye-opening and much more of a, like a, welcoming experience than I thought it was going to be like usually when you do any job uh, regardless of this one being so micro specific but when you do any job you kind of you go to work and you talk to your coworkers, and then you go home like it's usually not as close as we were <laughs> um like we we were hanging out like every day um we would go over to Yen Yen's house and we would have lunch and dinner and we would talk so I, I, it was a much more, um, I was included a lot more than I thought I was going to be, which I, I would have been fine without you. Like I, <laughs> oh, I, okay. I all right, I you would have been fine on your own. All right. <laughs> I, I, that's what I expected, honestly, not in like a, a bad way or anything. I just didn't think I was going to have so many friends on this set. Hey, that's a good thing. That's awesome. Yeah, it was the you. best. Now, here's the question for both of you. Fun question. I, I, Kugo Ren is such a cool action figure. A lot of us, uh, me, Asians, we grew up with a lot of comic books, mangas, anime, action figures. How about you, Ben and Sydney? Uh, do you collect stuff? If not anime or manga, what, what do you usually collect? Speaking of Kugo Ren, I like, lost my brains when I saw that thing for the first time because I was a huge Gundam fan when I was growing up. I built Gunpla. I had so much Gunpla in my house. Um, and so, yeah, when they showed Kugo Ren, I was like, oh my God, this is, uh, and, and in fact, I'm such a big Gun Gundam fan that when they were doing the set deck for my room in the show, they were like, they had all these toys up on the shelf, you know, and they were like, Ben, do you, is there anything else you'd want up there? And I was like, you put a Gundam up there. You put a Gundam up there. And they did. They found a Gundam. There's an XE on my shelf if you, if you look close enough. So, yeah. And Sydney? I, I was never much of a like an action figure collector or a comic book reader, but I I do like <laughs> I do like little figurines, like nice. anything like I have so many children's McDonald's toys <laughs> sitting on my bookshelf. <laughs> so any any little figurine, I will probably yeah. love it and display it somewhere in my room. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for sharing, for talking to me. Sydney and Ben, congratulations. Thank, thank you. you very much.